Howdy crafty friends, I am back in the craft camper and when I was doing my live the other day, I was having some issues with my Z machine. That's my purple and white one here where it was dropping stitches and I realized that my feeder was really worn and I know that my feeder was worn on my Central 48 as well. So I ordered new feeders. I already replaced it on the Z machine. I ordered them on Amazon. I will actually put a link in the description if you need a new feeder for your machine. Um, so here's what it looks like. This is what I got. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one apart and replace it as well. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show it at the end. I'll show you how, how dug in that is there. Um, after so long, they do wear out from the yarn rubbing against them. So I've got my trusty little uh, screwdriver here and my coffee. <laughs> so we should be able to do this. I also have some, um, Candy air because I'm going to spray it out after I'm done. But what you need to do to be able to replace it is you just have to take these screws out in here. All of those, I think there's like seven screws on the bottom. You need to take those out. So we'll do that here and then I'll meet you back after. That last screw was being a booger and it didn't want to come out. So I'll have to be careful not to lose that. Okay, once you do that, you can take the housing off. So you can just take it right off. And then I will show you, I'll flip it over here. And you can see the feeder just screws in right there. So I have to remove that screw to change the feeder. But here, let me show you this. You can see how, how bad that's been cut into there. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, so I'm going to take that off and kind of clean up the machine a little bit. And then... um. And yeah, I'll show you what the new one looks like. Okay, so here you can see this is the old one. Whoops, I just dropped my screw. I'll have to find it. Um, you can see there's the old one and how much it's cut in. And this is what the new one looks like. So I just have to screw that new one in and then we'll be good to go. Okay, I got the new one all screwed down, got it in there. So now I'm actually going to, uh, you can see I got it all screwed in there. I'm going to clean off the machine with some canned air. We'll do that here and then I'll put it back together. So I went ahead and blew it all out. Um, I checked to make sure the counter was okay. Now I'm just going to put my screws back in now that I put the housing back on. And it should be good to go. Okay, that's it. That was relatively easy. I will show you what the feeders, the, the comparison here. And I don't know how, how far in this gets before it really just, your machine won't work at all. But yeah, the, I had some pretty good wear on both of those. You can see. So now they're replaced and hopefully I won't have any more issues. I'll keep you posted.